the Shrine Inn. And there's Gert. And there's me. And it's time to search for Sasquatch. We ready? Ready. We ready? Sailorville. Sailorville, here we ready. go. All right, tell me what you just saw, Gert. So I thought it was the reflection off the, there's a red light on the camera. Okay. I thought it was reflecting off my glasses. And I saw a red light up in the tree when I turned. I tried making it happen again, and I couldn't get the right angle. Interesting. Let's see if I can, is this on? Here we go. Aha, that's better. It have been up in that tree. Now we just need to focus. So he saw up in this tree here, possibly, I think it's probably reflection. It's reflection. Okay. Also, you'll notice it's raining right now, so we're going to have to be really careful about what we're reacting to because it sounds like a lot of things are like walking through the woods right now. So, making a note here, we saw some tire tracks back there, so we're about 99% sure that this is all done from some sort of a machine. But you can see that all of these tree limbs here are like ripped to shreds. Let me turn the night vision off here. Focus. Yeah, they're just like obliterated. And it's been so far basically the entire length of the trail at this point. Very strange. Rain is picked up and making it a little bit more difficult. But as you can see, you can see here, we found tracks for whatever is just pushing these shrubs and whatnot out of the way. So as one would say, not an active Bigfoot. Unless he's driving a bobcat or something. True. So possibly an active Bigfoot. An active and an active Bigfoot. Ayo! Traffic. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah I Mark that. It almost sounded like traffic. But it did, but it's like traffic's it's a long ways away. Yeah. Sounded like a growl. Yeah. Whoa. I think it was traffic. Traffic? Someone, someone cruising. Yeah, someone with a loud muffler or something. Yeah. That has to be a vehicle. Yeah, I think it probably is. That's a vehicle. It has to be. It's so consistent. Yeah. That would literally be like a Sasquatch just like humming. Yeah. Or like deeply like moaning or something. <laughs> Also pay attention for changes in the weather, wind speed, stuff like that. Or even if the rain were to stop or pick up as we make makes, uh, the calls. Now there are houses that way. Yeah. They're not for a while, but we are definitely within barking distance for sure. Sounds like um, a lawnmower or a yeah. plane. It's like such a constant sound. Yeah, it, yeah if, it's, if it's a plane, it sounds like a small bodied plane mm -hmm. that's just like cruising at like a lower altitude, but it's like really right now? And this consistently, I mean, it doesn't really get that much louder or that much quieter. Exactly. And it's intermittent, it's not constant. It does, it does get louder every now and again, but. Well, let's. Let's continue up the trail and we'll try to bend around that uh, that curve up here. Let's see if we can get a little closer and hear it a little bit better. Also, just a note too, um, it's about 37 degrees right now. And so as we film, you're gonna see our breath. So just make sure that that's not being mistaken for an anomaly or an apparition or anything like that. So it's all, CGI. It's all uh, candy wrappers and flashlights. 
Rain's picking up again. Yep, rain is picking up. Mm -hmm. What was that? I heard something. Oh, it's a dog. Isn't it? It's an old dog. Focus. It sounds like an old dog, maybe. Yeah, it's like a low, yeah. very low sound. rumble strip. There is this trail back here to our right, or yeah. our left, that we could go down. Because the lake is just that way. It's yeah. just it's straight out, yep. Someone's like got a dog on a boat? I mean, if you think about it, sound travels pretty easily over water. Yeah, that's true. So, because I mean, that's we've heard tons of dogs barking and Sasquatch calls yeah. coming across from the other side of the lake. You want to take that trail down? Or? Yeah, let's do it. It's just hard to tell. What it is. It's, ve it's very far away. And if it were how long will you hear the resonating sound? Mm -hmm. Right. At first I thought it was an owl. Because mm -hmm. it just sounded like a single loose. So we're now lakeside. It's actually a pretty good place for a nest. Right here. first big call of the night. We have had on more than one occasion come to Lakeside and done a big howl and actually got a response along with dogs, coyotes, etc. But over top or in the midst of that we have heard long drawn out classic squatch howls. So I'll give it my best cold throated attempt here. I'm going to do one of the lower calls it generally is considered to be kind of like a I'm here this is my location kind of a call We were getting ready to leave the trail here. Um, Gert and Tiny made a good observation that the noises we were hearing back when we were in, farther in, excuse me, that we thought was a dog, we assumed it was a dog or even an owl to begin with. We maybe heard it once as we were walking out here, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe one more time. But since we've been out here, it has not happened since. So, interesting because it was happening fairly frequently when we were back oh, yeah. now. It, a dog could have been let outside to go to the bathroom or whatever and was barking at its owner or an animal, something. But just, it's still something to, to uh, take into consideration. So, let's head back into the woods. Okay, so, literally, we just turned the camera off and we were getting ready to walk and I tripped on a piece of wood and I heard kind of a sound that sounded like, woo -hoo, like right over here. Wind. Yeah. Wind.
Now I want to point out that since we walked up this trail, the wind has been way less evident yeah. until I made that call. Mm -hmm. And now it's pretty consistent. Yeah. Gary, were you seeing something? Seeing like a glint of light up there. It's in the trail right there. Oh didn't, really? I didn't click it. I thought you had and you didn't. Say what happened again? I heard the so exact sound of when I clicked my flashlight behind us. Really? And I thought you clicked yours and you didn't and I didn't. Okay, so playing off of that, we know that it is very strongly possible that Sasquatch mimic sounds to either confuse or interact. And who's to say that a creature that already uses vocal noises to communicate couldn't be using some sort of a to communicate too. I mean, Sasquatch are, are well known to be whistlers as well. Yeah. And so who's to say that a sound similar to the clicking of the flashlight couldn't be mimicked? It was exactly the same. So click your flashlight, Tiny. This is how it sounded. You know, it was even faster. It was like, it was like that. Just like that, huh? Yeah. Had that little bit of a hollow sound to it and everything. Oh, exactly. Interesting. It was really fast too. Very, Very strange Thank rain you. system going through right now. You can literally hear it like moving through the trees, but it's not, it's barely even hitting us. Woo! Woo! I'm getting a bit of a feeling. Whew, yeah, I'm definitely getting the feeling. Interesting, this battery has been eaten. Really? I had almost 200 minutes of battery and I'm down to 54. Sounds like movement over yeah, here, doesn't it? I was it? just gonna say, I know there's a lot of noise from the raindrops, but man, it sounds like there's something through the trees. seems like movement that is different than the rain. It sounds heavier. And we're kind of starting to see a correlation of events that are happening with, I got dizzy stepping out here. Then we heard what sounded like tree knocks. Then we're hearing footsteps. And not to mention 
the, like the squeal that Tiny heard, the little bit of a whoop whoop sound I heard, the heavy movement Gert heard, we're, we're definitely hearing things and we are taking into consideration the fact that there is rain still falling, it's still settling, and still dripping from the trees. But as we're out here, we're getting used to what that sounds like, and we're hearing things that are sounding different from those. So they're set apart, so it's, it's causing our ears to react differently to those things. Maybe I should let out a big howl. Footsteps over here. Wah. 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 What was that? I don't know, man. I heard that. Heard like a reply, right? Yeah. Like a longer Real one? Real long, screechy. I thought I was hearing it from behind us, and yeah, then I heard it over here. Yeah. Try it again. Wah! 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 Like that's traffic. It didn't sound like traffic. No. Uh -uh. But if you can hear that traffic, you should have been able to hear mm -hmm. the holler <clears throat> when you review this. Yeah, that was that was really good. Hopefully, you can hear that on the video. Okay, go ahead. Whoa. Well, sounded like footsteps that and then something get thrown, right? Big footsteps. Go ahead. Whoa. Go ahead. Whoa. Go ahead. Whoa. Go ahead. Whoa. Okay, so we got things going on right now. Ooh, I'm covered in goosebumps. Covered in goosebumps. Do you have another battery by chance? Yeah. Okay. Yep, I got two or three. 26 minutes. Okay. crazy because we haven't me. heard like movement like that all night. No. And there's more over here, dude. Yeah. Okay, really quick. We're standing here just talking about different things that have been happening. We talked about the wind has died down. The rain wasn't really happening much anymore. And right behind us, in this tree behind us, which our movement is happening right now. It sounds like something is peeing from the tree. Just this water pouring. You can't see it. And a leaf is falling. And and then Tiny is hearing movement over here. She gets goosebumps. I get goosebumps. I tell Gert to hit record on the camera. And I don't know, do we have it? It was recording, yeah. Okay, so it was recording as massive. I heard two distinct footsteps. Yep. And then like either something falling, something being thrown, yeah. something settling directly across and I was like this is so loud and profound that I was expecting to see something standing over there yeah yeah I was like here it is this yeah. is the moment this is the moment we're going to see something it was terrifying too because we heard that dropping sound mm -hmm. just like cascade around us yes and then from exactly the point that we heard it stop we heard the footsteps, heard the footsteps. it was like it I don't know maybe we're having another level of Bigfoot experience here the day like whew, I am so covered in goosebumps right now it like it goes through like the wind 
and then when it that wind stops is where it stops and we heard the footsteps land mm -hmm. and either it threw something or it settled itself something but the weather is reacting according to things that we're experiencing yeah. and it's kind of gives more uh, credence to the nephilim nephilim yeah 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 I always go back to that yep Sasquatch are supernatural yeah. and not in the sense of a ghost yeah. in the sense of they are a combination we believe what is known as a Nephilim combination of fallen angels that bred with human daughters and created these angel hybrid creatures that can literally transcend dimensions isn't there something to do with them being like an alien too so if they were an alien or seen as an alien mm -hmm. that could be just when they were angel falling yep. from heaven. Yep. Yeah, an unknown creature, mm -hmm. you know. And they were huge. Yeah. They were massive. Nephilim. Giants. Giants. And they bred with, with women, human women. Yep. And so their babies were massive. And so you have these, these human forms that have supernatural abilities. And who, I mean, you're talking, like, you're talking giants. And so you're thinking abnormal sized features right and if i, I, I don't That's know a big movement over here yeah just as we hear something yep. rain starts coming down yep in this one spot yeah oh Whoa! Whoa! Consistent movement. tripped up which wouldn't be I think it must have been tiny scope but I looked I'm looking I'm scanning and I'm looking at my peripherals as well and as I get to where tiny is in my peripherals I see the shape of a massive person standing behind you was it uh and then I breath? turned and it, what was it uh Shahan's breath or anything no Maybe? like it was a form now I'm not saying it was actually anything it yeah. could have been just the peripheral of my non glasses, yeah, oh, combined gotcha. with my glasses, yeah, because when I looked at you, there was nothing there, but I had a very deep sensation, yeah, it's freaking me out though. That's why I keep looking over here, is because I keep feeling like it's behind us. Maybe it's like way closer than I still realize. keep hearing footsteps over here, and it sounds like it's going this way, yeah, I agree. It's From the entire time right. the movement we've been hearing is that, and then there's mm -hmm. that like kind of settling, stepping over here, but all the activity over here is moving to our left. Then towards the vehicle. Be in a valley like that, it could be deer because it'll it's travel true. that. Absolutely. Often. However, we've not heard. Yeah. And behind us over here, those two footsteps and something 100%. falling. Yep. If it was a deer, we would have heard it consistently yep. walk off. Yeah. Kind of the four feet, not two. What was that? <laughs> an Irish jig. <laughs> let's let's step away from this area a little bit yeah. and walk up the the bike path and see if I'll make some calls up there and see what happens. Cool. Yeah, I'll zoom in on there it here. is. There's the other eyes. See? You guys see stuff? Yeah. yeah. It's a deer. Two sets of eyes. The other movements that we have been hearing are bipedal. They're human like. Just two feet. Step, step. Step, step. And that's what we've been hearing tonight. There they are. Just looking at I don't know if you guys can see them on the camera. I don't think so. Yeah, just hanging out. We could have ourselves some fresh venison if we ran out there. Oh, oh yeah, a couple oh, of them. There's another three one to the right. Three deer. We got three deer. Oh, yeah, for sure. You could point your flashlight a little bit up and then to the right. There it is. Wow, yeah. look at them. Yeah. Clear as day. There you go. You guys can see the eye glimmer. Oh. Yep, three deer. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do some calls and see if we can get any reaction to that. <clears throat> oh! Now 
Now keep in mind there are deer over here to our right. Something that we have discovered over the last year, especially while filming Squatch, Iowa, is that the wind moves or the weather reacts when calls are happening. And as I did those calls, we're hearing like this wind with a little bit of rain falling down at the same time, right after I do those calls. And I will say, since we've moved from the spot, so the spot that we heard, like the sound of the peeing from the tree and everything, was literally right down this trail here a little ways. And we decided to walk up this way and then that's when we went live on Facebook. And since then, things have mostly quieted down. Um, it could be because our kind of our attention has shifted some, but uh, even if that's all we walk away with from tonight, tonight was a success because we've had some incredible experiences from the red flashes or the red eyes or the red lights, whatever it might be. Um, motion in the trees, motions on the ground, the sound of peeing from the tree, but yet there's no liquid falling from the tree and it wasn't raining. Um, the heavy footsteps and overall feeling that something was nearby. Um, classic Sasquatch stuff. Classic stuff. A lot of what we are hearing too still is water settling from the trees, falling off the leaves, off the branches and stuff like that. No cares. No. It's like they've heard it yep. before. Exactly. Do it again. Woo! 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 I look at you and then they go back to grazing. Yeah. And they're just chilling. Yeah. They're getting a little weary of you, but. This one here's the Yeah, this calls. one's not, yeah. I'm gonna do a longer call. Okay. Really? Keep looking that way. What did you hear, Shia? No, she saw more eyes over here. Oh. I thought I heard more footsteps over here. Yeah, it doesn't care, dude. They don't care. No. They don't care. If they were completely unfamiliar with this sound, in my opinion, yeah. I am not an expert. In my opinion, they they are aware of the sound, they acknowledge the sound, and they go back to eating. Yeah. They're just chilling. They're just grazing. That is our first. We've never done that before. And that reaction is exactly what I wanted. Yeah. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, that was awesome. So that there's what, three deer over there? Or three, maybe three more? Three confirmed. Yeah. Yep. And they say if there's a big foot, you'd be able to hear it walking through. Well, yep. there's four deer there and we heard one footstep. Yep, so. exactly. That's a great point, Gert. Yeah. Great point. There are three confirmed, if not four deer, Literally less than a football field away from us right now. Oh, it's 100 50, feet. 100 yeah. feet, maybe. Yeah. Do you hear anything? No. No sound. We heard very distinct footsteps. Oh, it's so loud. Yeah. So loud. They're right there. Walking, moving. No sound. The wind is louder. Yeah. than them walking through the trees. All right, let's keep going down the trail a little bit. I have to say is if we get a sighting tonight, this will basically be a perfect Sasquatch hunt. Oh, that will be a, a <laughs> like movie in itself. Straight up. Dude. Straight up. Yeah. With everything that has happened, it would be perfect. Yeah. Because we've each had experiences. Not a single one of us is leaving empty-handed tonight. Yeah. Seriously. Profound profound experiences. It's been a crazy night. Yeah. So this is this is the half
has to be, and I wouldn't say the exact spot, but very close proximity to the area in 2013 when we saw a Sasquatch, what we believe to be a Sasquatch. I should, I should point that out specifically. We came to this point and we looked out over the field. We followed a set of eyes. And again, people would say, well, it could be a deer. Deer don't generally stand drastically higher. I mean, they might peek their head up, look, look, put their head back down. This stands up, okay, stands up. And then it goes back down and it like seemingly army crawled. We can't confirm because we couldn't really see, but it seemed like it crawled away. And I will say, um, looking at it now, is it that does go back and down. Mm -hmm. So it could have walked away. Yeah. Yep. And we explored that whole entire area on Squatch, Iowa. Right. What was that? I don't know. Is that it sounded like a howl. It sounded like a howl. Yeah. It sounded like a howl. Is that a coyote? I don't know, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Coyote. Yeah, nice. Whew. That's cool. Gosh, they're probably several miles away. Coyotes. Coyotes are killing something. Coyotes just killed something. Yeah, that was a weird sound. Yeah, it was. It, and then I definitely think it was something that got killed because it was like a. Yeah. Yep, yeah. 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 Like bit it. Something. Rabbit, maybe. Yeah. But and at first, it sounded like a little yapper dog. Mm -hmm. so yep. I hope it wasn't a little dog. Wasn't. I know there's a house that way. Yeah. Not too far from here. But it sounded like it was in the trees. So if it, yeah. if it was, it was away from home. Unless they grabbed it and took it out here. Yeah. Which is highly possible. It is. They'll do that. Yeah. You know? All right. So we're going to head back to the location where we're having all that crazy activity and see if we can pick up on anything else before we decide how we're going to finish out our night. Find a stick and see if you can't do a tree, huh? Knocks were worthless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we tried to do Definitely one thing I wish we heard more was tree knocks. Because they're, you never hear them. Yeah. You know? over my own feet. Oh, Woods, you did not disappoint tonight. <laughs>